Hello, uh, welcome to first lecture of C programming course. In case you have missed the course introductory video, you can watch it on the main page of the course and uh, you can uh, get to know about that how this course is going to be uh, followed. Uh, this is the first lecture of uh, C programming and we cannot start C programming until unless you know some basics about computers and algorithms along with the flowcharts right so we will be starting with the introduction of uh, computer how uh, this whole setup is all about and then we proceed to algorithms and then we will be you know going toward flowchart what symbols are used uh, how it is beneficial and uh, in more uh, videos, in, in the coming videos, we will be also discussing about how the, these flows charts can help you, you know, de uh, in designing the algorithms for your problems, right? So first we start with the, the very first thing that is the computers. Now if you talk about computer, it is just a general purpose device that can be programmed to carry out a set of arithmetic and logical operations, you know. Arithmetic uh, if you talk about arithmetic operations, they are uh, something like uh, uh, like addition, subtraction, division, uh, and then uh, multiplication. These are the four questions. Uh, These are the four basic uh, operations which you perform as arithmetic operation whereas logical operation is just like uh, comparisons right it can be greater than it can be some sort of uh, you can say uh, less than equal to or greater than equal to something like that not equal to right so these are the set, uh, bunch of uh, things which you can uh, you know add with the comparisons right so arithmetic and logical is all uh, about these uh, operations now whenever you talk about uh, you know uh, programming uh, to be carried out on computer system you always talk about certain type of operations which have some kind of sequence right without sequence there will not be uh, a sensible output right so uh, for getting a correct kind of output you need to have some sort of sequence for your operation right so uh, let's say if i want to add two numbers right so if, if i say i want to add two numbers like let's say five plus four then what i require for this particular operation is first i need this number then i need this number and for adding these two particular numbers i need a symbol that is a symbol of addition right so this is what is required so this is some sequence you need to enter 5 in your computer then you need to enter 4 in your computer and then the addition will take place and the result will come as 9 right so this is the basic you can take it as a basic example of se uh, sequencing of any operation okay then next thing comes out is that every computer consists up of one processing element which is generally known as CPU also uh, known as central processing unit. Now this central processing unit further consists up of two things one is arithmetical and logical unit and one is control unit. Now these two units have very different uh, type of work right. This unit is only responsible for performing these operation that is addition subtraction division multiplication this is for arithmetic unit uh, arithmetic unit and this is the job of logical unit right so these are two different set of operations which are performed by two different units and to you know maintain the uh, sequence of any kind of uh, operation control unit is responsible for this particular thing we will go in detail in next slide but you just need to take care about that arithmetic and logical unit is re responsible for performing the operation where a control unit is basically used for supervising okay 
Now, next thing which uh, which makes a part of computer is input and output devices, yeah, right? So you all know about how keyboard, mouse, these are the input devices, whereas uh, monitor, printer, plotters, they are the output devices, right? Along with this, you require some sort of memory. It can be a primary memory or it can be a secondary memory, right? So there are two types of memories, primaries and secondaries. So primaries are volatile, secondaries are non-volatile. So you can read about these things over internet or in some fundamental book, uh, right? So I'm not going in detail of, of all such things. So my main motive is to just to get to um, just to tell you about that. What is a computer? How, why it is used? What are the main components of it? Main components of uh, this uh, computer system. Now, if next thing if I uh, talk about uh, is the block diagram of this uh, whole computer setup, right? So any computer which um, you will work upon is will have this basic setup right there will be some input uh, devices there will be some output devices right from input device user will uh, put data in computer right whereas in output devices uh, data will be displayed to user right so they are basically they both devices act as an interface uh, between user and computer right so they are just the intermediate things between computer and user right now next part is the these are the components which are more responsible for performing different types of types of jobs or processing different types of data which user had input right so as we already discussed that this is the unit that is arithmetic and logical unit which is responsible for performing any type of uh, calculation any type of calculation and comparisons or we call it a logical operation which is basically comparisons right so it can be greater than equal to it can be equal to it can be less than equals to it can be less than it can be greater than it can be not equal to right so there can be any number of op a number of operations which are responsible for comparison size so, or so logical unit will perform such kind of operations and any of the calculation is performed by the arithmetic unit but how they get the this unit get to know that i need to do a calculation or i need to a logical so every every operation which is to be performed by this particular unit first go through this control unit right so con what control unit does for uh, the whole cpu is it first check that what kind of instruction it is what kind of data is required for performing that particular instruction so as in last uh, uh, slide we uh, talked about 5 plus 4 right so we need an output of 9 so what kind of operation is to be done addition so control unit will instruct the arithmetic uh, unit to perform an addition operation now for this data is required which may be sent by the user or may be existing in either uh, external storage or the main storage so control unit will uh, you know pass on such signals to arithmetic unit that these are the two numbers which are to be added and the result is to be either stored in memory or is to be displayed on the device so control unit is you can say as a brain of computer system which is responsible for performing all type of operations and is responsible for managing whole process of uh, execution of any instruction right so this is the brain this is the uh, an, another subset which is uh, responsible for either calculation uh, op calculation operation or logical operations right so these two units which are attached to uh, the control unit as uh, as well as the arithmetic uh, logical unit these two units basically assist this whole setup to maintain 
uh, to maintain or to store data either during the execution process or after the execution process right so if uh, if during the execution process data is to be stored this uh, the data will be stored in this particular memory we call it a primary memory right whereas once the uh, execution is over and you still want to store your data the data will be stored in your external storage and this is also known as secondary storage right so this is your uh, whole setup which has the input output devices which is also known as peripheral devices a brain which is a control unit of the central processing unit an arithmetic and logical unit which is responsible for calculation and logical operations there is a, a primary memory which stores the data during the execution of any instruction right which is undergoing uh, the execution process right and external storage which is also known as the secondary storage is responsible for storing the data which is uh, uh, to be stored for further uh, uh, reference even when the execution of the instruction is over right so this is what we have for uh, a simple computer setup right so these are the main components so you need to remember uh, that control unit is basically responsible for you know, sending across all the uh, instructions to arithmetic and logical unit depending on what type of instruction it is right so Overall, if I, uh, I want to summarize it as, so computer is basically a machine that manipulates data according to a set of instructions. Now these set of instructions will be named as computer programs, which you are, uh, which you may, you know, heard about in day-to-day uh, uh, -day language, right? So whatever instructions are there when a bunch of instruction is uh, made a sequence of uh, instruction is already defined so that becomes a computer program and that is responsible for performing some sort of task for user now this computer program consists of different type of instruction it can be any type of instruction let's say uh, it can be a load instruction it can be a, a save instruction it can be uh, some kind of arithmetic instruction it can be uh, let's say some sort of uh, uh, logical instruction etc now as we proceed in uh, this course we will be talking about all kind of instructions so like if i say arithmetic instruction so i am talking about this if i say logical instruction i am talking about s5 is greater than 4 if it is greater than 4 then say 5 is greater if not 4 is greater right so in this case only 5 is greater so this is of no significance right so basically there can be different kind of instructions in a program right so it depends upon what kind of problem you are so trying to solve using your your computer program now each instruction triggers a sequence of simple action taken um, taken as either addition subtraction division comparison etc so as we already discussed this these are the arithmetic operations and these are the logical operations now the collection of any computer program may let's say 10 computer programs are there and we made a collection and each of the program is responsible for doing some job now when we combine them together that becomes a computer software right so like i am working uh, on this ppt right now so this ppt is basically a what this ppt is basically a computer software which is responsible for you know which is taking care about a lot of things which you may be not aware about like i am writing on it i am uh, moving from one slide to another slide so each program will be responsible for doing each of the particular task right so there, there may be specialized for uh, each type of step so best examples are operating system video games which you play you know you uh, you press left button uh, that character moves to left if you press right button that character moves to right so each each button press is programmed for some particular type of job similarly ms paint you draw something in your ms paint software so that each action has some sort of uh, you know 
uh, individual computer program which are which are combined together to make a computer software named as Microsoft Paint, operating system, video game, etc. Whatever you want to say, right? So basically, this is what we have. So whenever we whenever we are going to start with C programming, we will be talking about the basic programs one by one by one and one. Once we are uh, you know good enough to write bunch of uh, different programs and we'll be, we will be you know working on some project which work as a software uh, for the computer right so the, this whole thing will be you know covered in later uh, lectures of this particular tutorial so overall is computer is a machine which is responsible for you know running certain type of instructions and manipulating the data according to the need of the problem right so any computer program requires a blueprint you know now this blueprint is basically named as uh, uh, as an algorithm which actually defines that how your program sequence will, will go through so if we talk about uh, more technically we call this as a algorithm right now there are a bunch of uh, uh, definition which you find about the algorithm the very first thing which i which i picked from the dictionary is it says a set of rules for solving a problem in a finite number of steps so it is very important certain rules you define for solving your problem but there must be a finite number of steps right now second thing comes from uh, from author thomas h corman he is uh, he is a author for uh, introduction to algorithms uh, which is a mit press book right so it says an algorithm is any well-defined computational procedure. So you say computational procedure that takes some value or set of values as input, process them and produce some value or set of values as output. So it says input is there as well as output is there. Right. Next, I picked it from Google. So Google says uh, a process or set of rules. Now, procedure is a process basically and set of rules both are included here. To be performed in calculations, uh, sorry, a process or set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem solving operations, especially by a computer, right? So overall, it may be a process, it may be a rule, a set of rules, uh, which is basically for problem solving operations right so from uh, uh, all these uh, uh, different definitions we can conclude that algorithms are set of well-defined steps to solve a defined problem corresponding to provided input so that means there are some inputs provided corresponding to problem right which is to be solved so there will be a number of steps to solve this right so if I go further, any algorithm will have these five things, right? You require input, accept zero or more inputs externally. It will be provided by user. We will see in uh, uh, next uh, few videos, uh, maybe in second or third lecture that how user provide input to this algorithm or the program which will be designed by making base of this algorithm, right? Now next output. And every algorithm must produce at least one output, right? At least one output is required, whereas zero input can be there. Okay, as a result of procedure you have. Now definiteness. Now definiteness says that each instruction must be clear and unambiguous. So that means every instruction must be easily understandable right and uh, it must have a definite purpose right so let's say if i i say i uh, want to divide five by one so it says that division is to be done five into four it says uh, multiplication is to be done right so something like that finiteness as per finiteness, it says if all the instructions are traced in algorithm, then for all cases, the algorithm must terminate after a finite number of steps. So it must stop. 
must stop after finite steps if it doesn't stop that means there is no use and uh, no output will be produced so if there is no finiteness that means this program or this algorithm is no use for us okay next is effectiveness now every instruction must be very basic so that it can be carried out and must be feasible to perform on any machine this is uh, a little bit technical when uh, when you uh, you know start working on c program you will get to know that there are some expressions which are very complex right now if you go and uh, you know perform an expression like this uh, 5 into 4 divided by 2 into 9 into uh, 10 divided by 5 into uh, let's say 8 mm, and uh, let's say uh, this has a modulus operator 2 plus 5 plus 10 and so on so for you it is little bit difficult to read you know you cannot guess the answer until unless you are you are not aware about the board mass thing right board mass uh, formula right on the similar pattern computer also works on a cert certain level of precedence which we will learn in later videos right so effectiveness when i talk about is it must be feasible right it must be ve very basic so if i say i want to perform an operation this is a basic operation then i once i get a result of this then i will divide the uh, result with two and so on so these are the basic operations which i perform whereas this expression is a very complex expression even though this is not difficult for computer to solve but with the perspective of of a programmer we need to make our code effective right so we need to simplify this okay so this is why we say effectiveness okay so these are the five properties or characteristics you can say an algorithm must have input output definiteness finiteness and effectiveness right so if you achieve all these five characteristics so that means your algorithm is uh, algorithm for a computer program or a computer problem is on the right track right so if i uh, design any algorithm so i need to keep few things in mind so first i need to understand that algorithm is not a computer program because computer program is written in some particular programming language right whereas algorithm is either written as a pseudocode pseudocode is something like combination of english and expressions or it can be written in purely english language with the type of some description right second thing algorithm only provides information about what calculation are to be performed and in which flow so uh, you need to you know tell about the calculations what calculations like like if i say i want to perform addition sub traction and then addition okay and the flow must be like subtraction then addition and then again addition right so first you specified what operations are to be performed and then in which flow they must be performed right so we will see in examples of this algorithm like if we want to add two numbers we can have algorithm as ask user to enter two integers now this is an english type uh, english language type algorithm the first step is you must have two integer numbers right to add okay so you need to ask user to enter two integer number to, uh, to provide two numbers right now next step is to add both the numbers right so let's say user provided four and five you added 4 and five, uh, 5 and you get the result 9. Now finally you need to provide some output, right? So you need to print the sum value of the two numbers and that is 9. So you print 9 at the 
end of the algorithm so you specified that this must be flow first ask user then add then print you cannot say that first before asking user for two integer number you can add two numbers right so this flow is to be maintained otherwise there is no mean for this algorithm right so this is the one type second type is pseudocode algorithm now this algorithm is little bit technical you write algorithm and the name of the algorithm so i said uh, this algorithm has a sum right then you need to specify that what input is required and what output this particular algorithm will produce so input is two integers and you have specified that one and two whatever the integer number you put you name them as one and two so let's say five and four so five will be as first number or one four will be as second number or two now output sum of one and two as result so whatever the sum is uh, will be done from this these two numbers that will be stored in your result and printed as result so next step is the actual process so you take user input put that in one so that means you take five as input from user and put it one similarly for two you take four as input and put it in two now you sum or uh, you add one and two that means five and four and save the result in uh, save the sum of these two number in result so that means at this point of time result will hold nine number and at the last you return result so return means you are giving user with the value of result uh, uh, result name so this result will hold the value of 9 so that means user will get 9 as output of this particular algorithm similarly you can show the uh, you you can you know display it as a diagrammatic representation so we call it as a flow chart representation and thus we have some specific symbols we will uh, uh, you, you know study about these symbols in next few slides so for here for your reference only like we were adding two numbers so we start we say enter integer one and get it from user enter integer two get it from user again add one and two and put the res uh, put the uh, sum in result and put here says that you want to print it on your display screen so result is uh, the value which is stored in result right so it will be displayed as result is 9 if you take the values which we if you consider the value values 5 and 4 as for 1 and 2 variable right so this flow chart will basically a flow of algorithm which can be represented using flowchart. Such representation is used for easy understanding of algorithm for by everyone, right? So this makes easy understanding. That is very important point. Now next thing comes is the flowchart. Now if I talk take, talk about technical uh, definition of flowchart, then I say flowchart is a type of diagram that represents an algorithm or process showing the steps as boxes of various kinds and their order by connecting them with arrows so if i consider this particular diagram so it has a flow right next thing it says uh, represent the algorithm or process definitely this particular flow chart is representing an addition process addition of two integer numbers right then it says showing the steps as boxes of various kinds now if you see boxes of various kinds this is a polygram oh sorry palindrome this is a palindrome and this is a rectangle and this arrow says input and this type of arrow says output right so each symbol resembles something so this this rectangle is basically used for calculations right so this is input this is output this is for calculation and this 
oval shape is for starting and ending representation of your flow chart right so if i come to the basic notations which are uh, defined as standard oval is used for denoting the beginning and end of the program like we have described here then flow lines is basically used for connection or defining the logical flow of the program like if i come to that flow chart again so it says this is the arrow this is the arrow this is the arrow so this is defining the flow right now next thing parallelogram you know this is used as either input or output operation right next rectangle is used for process to be carried out so here whatever the calculations are to be done is defined in this right next is diamond we haven't used it here there is no use why because there, there is nothing to decide in this particular algorithm right so this diamond is only used for decision purposes right and it works on yes or no basis if let's say is a result let's say we need to check that is the result is okay result is greater than 10 and put it in diamond this side is no this side is yes if the result is greater than 10 we say hooray if the result is not greater than 10 I say very bad right so when we need to decide upon something some criteria we have as we said result if result is greater than 10 we say hooray that means uh, an expression of happiness whereas if it is less than 10 then we say very bad which means an expression of sadness right so for resembling such kind of uh, you know uh, such kind of problems we use this diamond shape symbol right so this is used for decision purposes so these are the symbols which are required so if if i uh, want to share with you about the different tools which are available for uh, openly for uh, uh, anyone to use one is the raptor this is one of the open source uh, tool which you can use and i will be you know discussing about this in next video and i specifically dedicated a full video for this particular tool and this is a very important tool you can you can you know start your uh, problem solving using this tool and this tool is purely based on flowcharts so that means before writing programs you learn how to solve your problem using this this flowchart technique right the, uh, then is uh, liquid uh, charts this is a web based uh, tool then is microsoft video this is uh, this was bundled with 2007 but it is now discontinued but still it is a very good tool to you know start learning about the flowchart based uh, schemes to solve your problems right but this is one of the tool which is used by lots of uh, uh, beginners and it is very easy to use in, as compared to these two tools so i will be stressing upon this as this is free of, free of cost and open source so there is no issue of copyright for me as well as you so we can download it i will be providing the link uh, for this tool in, in the description uh, in the description of uh, on my video page so you need not to care about that from where to download and all right so and this is what we um, had now i took every material from these uh, references one is from the from the same website of our supervets academy uh, it was another course design uh, analysis of algorithm and you can check the detailed uh, part of this uh, this particular lecture then i took some part uh, some part of my uh, ppt from Willy. then i use symbols from there 
and then from wiki a basic of computers are picked up right so you can go uh, to these reference websites and you can check uh, the basic uh, text which i have used in my ppt right so at the end i request you to put uh, to write an email uh, uh, to me on hello at the red superbits.com if you have any feedback any suggestion regarding my lecture if you if you doesn't like the way i uh, deliver these uh, tutorials these video tutorials and if you want some kind of improvement you can suggest it on and i will try to you know club it in my lecture as this is uh, the uh, the first kind of uh, you know, lecturing methods i'm trying to you know, include right so you can just write feedback you know have C programming as a subject and, and send it send your feedback and suggestions to hello at the red superbits.com right and i i will really appreciate you if you you know um share your feedback and suggestion and i i definitely include in my next coming lectures right so thank you very much for watching uh, this lecture and in case if you find this lecture uh, helpful do share it with your friends thanks a lot bye bye